Hey guys, it's me Ella. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite spring 2024 trends Some trends that interest me and I think are going to be very popular This is not a trends predictions video because all of the things I'm going to be talking about can be observed already and it's already happening some of them are more developed trends and some are just beginning to start but either way they do already exist I'm not coming up with anything original so I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there and obviously I'm not going to talk about every single trend that exists right now because that would be a billion hours and I'm only going to be talking about the things that I feel like are fresh and new yes a lot of things from last spring are going to be trending again like the coquette aesthetic and whatnot so I don't feel the need to bring it up again I've got about seven trends that I want to talk about in this video, so let's just get started. The first trend that I have been noticing and I'm getting quite into is the capris trend. So yes, you heard me right, capri pants are going to be trending and they already are trending. Just last week, I went to Urban Outfitters and guess what they had on sale? Capri pants. And yes, I bought them because they were on sale and it's kind of an interesting new fresh trend. So the type of capris that are going to be most trendy are also known as pedal pushers, which are basically the tight capris and they end right underneath your knees. That's probably the most flattering fit you can get for capris. Yes, they make ones that go like mid calf or are more baggy but the pedal pusher style is going to be most popular and they can be seen on lots of influential people such as Kendall Jenner right here and even Gigi Hadid plus tons of style influencers and fashionable people online. I think this trend is very playful. It's perfect for springtime weather too and they definitely give a little bit of a vintage feel depending on what pattern you're going for especially if you're going to do something like this gingham it gives total 1950s vibes but you just got to be careful that you don't go into the sort of chuggy time period of 2010s where if you don't play your cards right you might just look outdated so it is a little bit of a slippery slope but style them however you want and i'm sure you're going to look fabulous the next trend that is going to be so popular and already is like full frontal popularity right now is gingham as well as plaids but mostly gingham myself and most people when they think of the gingham pattern their first thought is the red checkered picnic blanket and that can kind of scare people away they don't want to look like they're dressed as a picnic blanket but gingham does not only have to come in the classic red and white you can have black and white, blue, yellows, any fun springy pastel colors, pink. It's so cute. There's so many different clothing items that can be made with a gingham pattern like pants, shorts, tank tops, little bralettes, dresses. I think something that is most popular is going to be gingham boxer shorts or little bloomer shorts. A very popular clothing item for spring and summer is going to be boxer shorts now it doesn't have to be actual men's underwear they make like ladies shorts that are just in the same style of boxers but i've also seen them styled in a little more feminine way with ruffles on the edges and so more of like a bloomer style and i think both are cute in their own ways so if you're a little bit intimidated by wearing a more bold pattern I would definitely go with the boxer shorts trend. It will definitely be the most comfortable and the easiest way to sort of ease into a loud print. The next spring fashion trend on my list is bohemian style. Yes, you heard me right. Boho is coming back. You can totally count on it. I know we think of the boho trend immediately we're sent back to the 2010s along with the bohemian trend is also western inspired looks i feel like they kind of go together they're not the same thing but they definitely complement each other so i'm gonna talk about them both in this category the western trend has definitely been here 
for longer especially last summer we had the coastal cowgirl aesthetic and i feel like that was us dipping our toes back into the boho fashion but a lot of those themes are going to be rolling over into this year and are going to be combined with the boho aesthetic last season's runway show by chloe was totally bohemian inspired here are some pics i mean they were literally wearing wedges like okay let's maybe take a step back from there even in the 2010s this bohemian trend was not a new idea it was inspired by the 1970s and i think a lot of 70s fashion is going to be popular as well as some late 60s as well when we think of boho chic icons i'm definitely thinking about mary kate and ashley olsen and i'm also thinking vanessa hudgens coachella so let's take those themes and give them a bit of a 2024 twist this definitely means long flowing skirts maxi dresses lots of lace definitely lots of crochet very natural and earthy tones definitely lots of the fun ruffly looks i think a lot of popular style influencers have been adapting this style and this trend without even realizing what they're doing i definitely think like the sheer lace trends and the denim vest totally fall into this category and this is definitely a style that is a little bit different for me but i'm so excited to participate in the next trend that i'm going to talk about is another throwback to a semi-recent trend which is the peplum top this was definitely popular in the early 2010s i mean just look at emma stone's dress from the 2024 oscars i mean doesn't she just look beautiful in this gorgeous peplum dress there's lots of cute variations on this peplum trend it doesn't have to be so structured a nice cute tube top with a draping waist can sort of fall into this peplum category as well and then pivoting off the peplum trend is the drop waist style i think drop waists are just so beautiful but i also love the like super tight bodycon and then it poofs out right below your waist i think that's so beautiful the nice like poofy a-line drop waist dresses are so beautiful the next trend that i want to talk about is another pattern and it is polka dots i feel like polka dots have not been very stylish for young women in recent times polka dots are always popular for little girls but i've been seeing some very stylish polka dot pieces i mean just the other day i was shopping at urban outfitters and they had this beautiful polka dot halter top dress polka dots are just so playful and so youthful that i think it's going to be just perfect for the spring season like gingham polka dots definitely give you a bit of a 1950s flashback but that can be very glamorous and elegant when we think back to 1950s we think of style icons like marilyn monroe and she's just drop dead gorgeous and so glamorous so trying to embody that sort of spirit into the polka dots trend instead of feeling like you're a little six-year-old in your polka dots is definitely going to be the key to rocking this trend and I'm definitely interested in participating in this trend and getting a few polka dot items. The next spring trend on my list is a color. That color is icy blue so this is definitely a very popular trend. It's also very basic and simple so it's going to be very popular. Icy blue, so cute. Me personally, I am a pink lover. I'm I'm totally into like the light baby pink, so switching to blue might be a little bit tricky for me, but I definitely love the color, but icy blue is definitely going to be one of the most popular colors for spring and even summer obviously pastel colors are always popular in spring especially with easter and spring flowers and everything like that but icy blue it's definitely a more of a y2k feeling my favorite interpretation of this trend is the light blue eyeshadow i think that makeup look is absolutely gorgeous i definitely want to try it out on myself the icy blue color definitely goes along with the minimalist color scheme i feel like it'll be sort of included as a basic neutral color in that color palette with the grays and whites 
and it would definitely be adorable for a nice monochromatic look as well. The last trend that I want to talk about today is the micro shorts versus jorts. So last spring and summer, we definitely saw the rise in popularity of the long, long jorts, which was definitely fun and exciting and new to play around with. But the new girl in town when it comes to shorts is the micro short. It's a little bit of an intimidating style if you are a little more of a conservative dresser or don't really like showing off your body. So I definitely understand why it's a very heated argument. So Free People just released a bunch of micro shorts, which are literally like denim underwear. They're very short. I think it looks very cute and it is definitely a major serve. And you have to be bold to rock an outfit like that. We definitely saw this trend in the last season as well with the no pants look but the no pants look didn't really catch on with the mainstream as it did in like celebrity and influencer world and i sort of have that same feeling with the micro shorts you're not going to suddenly walk out the door and see everyone in their mother wearing micro shorts so don't feel like you have to partake in any of the trends that I'm talking about. This micro shorts trend is definitely reminiscent of the 2000s as well. And even the 2010s, the micro shorts are not always denim. They can also be of like a comfier pajama looking short like the Brandy Melville pajama shorts. Or they can be sporty and be like tiny little track shorts. There's many different ways of styling it. I might participate in this trend, might not. Depends how I'm feeling. I still like the George trend and the super long shorts are not going to be out of style this year as well. We're kind of in this point where everything is trendy. We see the two extremes are both equally as popular right now which is definitely very fun and exciting. So many things are popular at once that there's not really any styles that are ugly or out of style. You can really wear whatever you want and still be fashionable. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite spring 2024 trend is and what you are most excited to wear. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe down below to see more videos from me. But that's all that I have for today and I'll see you in another video. Bye!